Okay, using the jig to drill an egg stretcher. So, I'm going to take my time with this so that y'all can see all the components for that. Um, previous video, when I just did an overview of the jig, a uh, brief overview of the jig and demonstration of drilling one mortise, that's where I'm at now. So, I've already drilled a mortise in the rear leg here. So, now I'm set up to drill a mortise in this rear leg. Now, to verify this, I have uh, these dividers set, so I just want to go ahead and check that I'm good. It looks like I'm good there. I'll triple check that here in a second. But uh, right now, um, I have the height of the mortise for this rear leg uh, marked, but I do not have the center line marked. So I have my drill extension with the drill bit in it and uh, the drill stop. These are the Sean uh, Murphy drill stops seem to work very nicely. And so, what I'm going to do is insert the back end of the extension in here, put my center finder on, come over here, and simply get the center finder where it's in. Uh, It's going with the leg, put it right there, make that mark. Okay, after that, uh, just remove the center finder. That. Put it back into the uh, jig, bearing. That's it there. So uh, what I want to do is take a awl and just uh, hook that. Up. Probably have my reading glasses on. There we go. And so we got that done. So we're now ready to drill that mortar. So sit there and I'm going to verify that this is correct. Yep, that looks good. Like I said, this just needs to be pointed in the general direction. And put that in there. So now, all we have to do is drill this. Okay, I started to do my switch over, but I stopped because I thought I'm going to show you in real time how easy it is to switch from drilling the mortises for the rear legs to drilling the mortises for the front legs. So the first time, first thing you want to do is make sure, take your uh, dividers and you want to set this for the height of the mortise in the rear legs. So looking at my marks right there. So lock that up. Confirm that. That looks good. So then I want to remove the drill in the end so I can get the extension out of the jig. Move that out. Take that. Let's go ahead and uh, This one first. Get my two front legs. Now it's very important that prior to you doing this that you have oriented them with uh, marks so you got the correct grain orientation. Then um, 
want to go ahead and put this in here. Get it generally situated. And see how far off we are. We're not very far off at all. So didn't think we would. I think we can do a little bit of adjustment. Probably do it primarily up here. Oops, helps if I turn this right away. There we go. So, let's look there. It's looking pretty good. What I like to do is go ahead and put this through, point it generally where the Morse is going to be, and then just see how you're going as far as halfway. That looks pretty much perfect. So, let's tighten that up. Tighten one down here up. Just a little bit. Get this pointed in the general direction of the leg. There's a couple of wax, the soft end of this mallet just to secure it. And we're ready to go. So, as we did before, put this through, put your center finder on and Grab your pencil. Any pencil will work. <laughs> and get it generally in the direction. There you go. X marks the spot. Take this out. Grab your awl. Put that down. Put the rest there. Chuck your extension back in there. drill. I just put my hand here just for a little extra support. Now, put this here. Check our measurement because did adjust that drill stop slightly because this is at a little less of an angle. Uh, Look at really, really close. Look at that again. Maybe just a little bit more. So um, that's the that's the only really hold up here is just getting that depth right. Adjust that back just a little bit. Let me confirm what that adjustment is. Now it's just a little bit more than where I had it. So, once again. Carefully, you don't want to ding the edges of your mortises. Alrighty. And let's check again. Yep, that's where we want it. So it's just that simple. So 
This is even the simpler, simpler part. Now, I could, if I was being real lazy, I could not take the drill off of this and just move it over. But uh, in the interest of being more diligent, let's uh, take that out. Take this, move that over. Point it in the general direction of the leg. Again, I got this. I got this mallet. I love this mallet. It's the Lexi. This one has a green, harder area than this. This end here is orange, a little bit softer. Just put it in there. Make sure it's secure. And thread rod back in here, thread our center finder on there. Now, what I may want to do is just grab my dividers again. Doesn't hurt to check again, make sure we're good, we're good. Just make sure nothing came out of position just in case. If they get angle it where it's in line with the uh, Right. There you go. Mark your center. Take that out. Mark that with your all. Stitching back in, check it up. Center that right there. And now you're ready to go. Check this just to make sure you're good. Good. Yep. And just like that, you got all your uh, mortises for your stretchers done. So the next part is we'll uh, uh, put the stretchers in there and uh, get ready to drill for the H, uh, the cross member to make the H uh, stretcher simply. Okay, so we're ready to uh, put the stretchers in. Uh, at least the two stretchers that go from the front legs to the back legs. And then we'll drill for the uh, cross stretcher, the center stretcher. Um, but before we do that, we need to measure for the length of the stretchers. So um, this is a uh, trick that I uh, saw on one of Curtis Buchanan's videos. And just take some bamboo spheres. Put them on the mortise too. Got those located at the top of the mortise there, the short end. And just take a pencil and mark right across. So you can reline those up. So you can reline those up, measure, and you got the length of this mortise. So on this side, I'm going to do the same thing. in there and I'm going to use a different colored pencil this time, a red one. Just remember which color you do for which side. So as you're sitting in the chair, oops, there was some junk still in that one. Let me make sure that if that changes anything, but let's just be sure. Nope, that's good. So, um, 
So now we can sit there and measure for the stretcher. So uh, one of these I got a black mark on, the other one red mark. So um, how I tell that is, as you're sitting in the chair, the right hand side is red, left hand side is black. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go measure and cut the stretchers, and uh, I'll come back. Okay, I thought I might uh, film this. Um, just to show you how I uh, put these uh, stretchers in. So I've already uh, put the stretcher here in this front leg, so I need to get it into the back leg, but I need to get it oriented right so, so that these are in the correct alignment. So what I'm just going to do is set these in here and get this started. I already have blue in here. And just set this in there. Kind of get them started. That's what I got the rubber mallet for. Then I got them in the right orientation for the heat. Double check that. I don't think they are. Yep, there we go. And I simply come over here and pound it home using the soft mallet. There you go. Okay, so uh, while um, we got the uh, the stretchers in, wait for the glue to dry. Probably don't need to wait for the glue to dry, but I'm a completionist, so I'll wait a little bit. But there are some things we can do while we do that. Um, we're drilling for the uh, center stretcher, so. There's a couple of things we need to do. We're going to be utilizing the uh, vertical fixture for the jig um, to do that. But the first thing we do is need to get some reference lines down on the seat to make this a little bit easier. So, in cutting uh, for the um, for the tenons, when I shorten the stretchers to their final lengths, I did mark the center. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer those marks down to this down to the seat. So I just got my uh, combo square here and I'm going to put it right at that mark and just just transfer that down to the seat. So put a little tooth mark right there. Then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Like I said, the inside of these uh, stretchers are the marks where the center of them are. I don't know if that's an absolute center, but the center of the turning. So now I have a couple of marks and I can, um, excuse me, let me grab a aluminum square or aluminum extrusion that's a square. So I'm just going to put these on the marks and mark them. You know, it's better if I do this on this side. <laughs> Good. I'm trying to make this where y'all can see it. All right. So there's my center line. So uh, curious, just for wonder how far back that that is from uh, this one. So that is. About six inches, and yeah, about six inches.
Well, let's see. Five. And, no, I'm sorry. I'm reading that wrong. It's uh, five and uh, three quarters. Uh, yeah, right. Five and three quarters. So that's pretty good. Now, one thing I do want to show you, and uh, let me get behind the camera and see if I can lower it down or at least free it. It's just how you know we use <coughs> the jig to drill for these stretchers and just see how coplanar they are. So, bear with me. Hopefully, you can see how coplanar those those are. So that's kind of some of the accuracy you can get with this. So it's it's really nice. Okay, it's time to drill for the center stretcher. I kind of moved everything around where it's a little bit easier to clamp and, and uh, set this up. So what we're using is we're using the fixture that puts our jig 90 degrees parallel. Now. Earlier, we drew, we, um, we, we took these uh, center lines, transferred them to the seat, and drew a, drew a line straight across the seat. I since pulled these down. Uh, you probably can't see it, but I pulled those lines down here to the side. And I'm going to use that as a reference. And I have the, uh, the marks here from when I uh, drilled this mortise and drilled and reamed this mortise. So I have those center line marks there. I'm just going to line those up with the line that I've pulled down and then simply clamp this into place. Now we know the center line, uh, the center of our stretcher here. We don't know the center going this way. So that's what we need to find and we can use our center finder to do that just like we did on the legs. Now what I've done is I've simply uh, adjusted that. I used my dividers to get a rough approximation then did the same thing over here to get a rough approximation of the height of this and then I simply dialed it in. Now how did I dial it in? I put this through here put the center finder on here, put it there, took this little level, put it down there, see how level I am on that line. It's between the lines and favor in this side. So basically, I set that on there, or you can set it on the top here, whatever's better, and wait and adjust it there. So. Based on where we are, are there, we need to come down just a tad. So, take that up. Isn't that, I think, one revolution is probably going to do it. Try it again. That center that looks good on top. Looks good. So I think we're good. So we now have this set. So we're going to simply take our pencil. We do it this way. So maybe you can see. I can't see, but maybe you can see. So I want to put the center finder there, get pretty level with that leg, and here we go. So, put that, set that aside, and Put your mark in there. Okay, now we know where the center is for that one. So once we get this set up for this side, 
it's going to be exactly the same for the other side. So, what I want to do, I want to make sure, now I need to adjust the center of the hole in the bearing equal to that. So, I want to use my dividers once again. That's the easiest way to do this. And just to get it there. I'll put that there. And mark it there. Just reference up to that. There we go. So, double check that. That is exactly right. Okay, so now what I can do on this side simply put that there and see where we are here. We need a little adjustment. A little bit down. I'm not just like half a turn. Should be really close from where you marked it with the center line. Should be really, really close. That looks good. So. do is put this back in. Oops. <laughs> also I'll put it in where I can drill. Okay. And I'm gonna put that right into the hole in the And I'm gonna double check this. It's good. So, now all we need to do is check the drill up and drill it. Okay, if you, if you notice here, I'm about to drill. You can verify and you can look over the top of your um, rod and, and uh, your drill extension rod and make sure it lines up perfectly with that line you, you drilled previously. And it does. So let's just go ahead and do it. set up it's hard for me to set it down okay so there we go so um, what, what I'll do next is uh, well we'll just do this real time I guess well, why not okay do that. See me struggle getting these lights out. Okay. So, that one's good. Let's put it over here and get the other one.
Yeah, I saw me almost make a mistake there, didn't you? There. Oops. Got some interference there. Okay. Let's get it down to their marks. All right. Now, um, that's going to be the best way for y'all to see it. I probably need to flip this around. Oh, by the way, these are hockey pucks. Uh, another <laughs> Curtis Buchanan tip. These are fantastic for securing your chair. Um, also, another tip uh, that he, he said that works fantastic is if you uh, take a portion of bit and hollow out the middle, once you've got your chair legged up, you can then put these on your bench and put the uh, legs inside those holes. and It helps the chair from not moving around too much. It's not 100%, but it's... 85%. So it works really well. Good tip. As always. So we got that done. Okay, let's make sure we're pointing in the right direction. We're going to be pointing a little off here. So let me just. We just need to, like I said, be in the general direction. That's close enough right there. Up. Put the clamp on it. And let's do the center finder thing again. Now we should be lined up. Should not be any issue. Put that down on the line. Yep. So, all we need to do, oops, let me turn it this way so y'all can see. Move around here. Right there. And bingo, X marks the spot. Get the center finder off. Take that out. Flip that around. Check it up. Line it up. All right, I'm going to look over the top, look at that line I drew earlier. Yeah, we're going right down the middle of it. So let's do it. So now we've got that, so all we need to do now is, is measure for our center stretcher, cut it and put it in there. So um, let me do that off camera and I'll come back. Okay, we got the center stretcher in. So uh, everything looks great, it went right in. I put a dummy stretcher in because I'm gonna use this same setup to do a demo for a box stretcher, so I didn't wanna glue something in and commit myself. Uh, so um, be looking for that, but everything looks great. But, you know, there's, excuse me while I come around here. It's only one way we can uh, verify what we did. So put a level down here, put that on our line for our center stretcher. Spack that in the middle. And this one also has a, uh, if I get it to balance here, 
Yeah, this bubble is just touching the line here. This bubble is just touching the line over here. So that's perfectly uh, coplanar there. So looks absolutely fantastic. Let's turn it around so y'all can showing this thing upside down forever. Let's see right side up what, what she looks like. So there you go, not too bad. The legs uh, need to be leveled and this trimmed off, but um, yeah, this is fantastic. Um, the jig works well. It's easy to use, no math. Every, all the legs and uh, stretchers stay in the chair while you're doing this, so you don't have to worry about asking accidentally drilling at the wrong angle. It's, I don't, know, I don't want to say it's foolproof, but it certainly takes a lot of guesswork out of it. Just need a pair of dividers and a pencil and you're, you're ready to go. So I uh, hope this interests y'all, and uh, if it does, uh, please let me know your interest. Like I said in a previous video, I am going to sell kits that will have basically um, <clears throat> this setup here, but it will have a different lengths of rod plus a shorter base so that you can drill stretchers or um, mortises for uh, armrests into posts from anything from a nominal 6 inches up to 22 inches. So that should cover you for everything. And pricing is going to be somewhere around 200 to 25 in that neighborhood. So let me know if you're interested. and. Uh, uh, check back for a video on um, the box stretchers coming up soon.